This man is Nasubi. He has been completely isolated from the rest of the world and it's been 335 days since his torture began. He has no clothes to wear and his only food source is what he is able to win from Melwin magazine sweepstakes. The only way out of this confined and isolated apartment in Japan is for him to win 1 million yen in prizes, which at the time was roughly equivalent to 8,000 US dollars. And he had to win this amount in prizes from the same magazine sweepstakes he gets his food from. And he has no way to track his progress, so he has no idea when he has reached the goal, or if he is merely halfway there. In 1998, a popular Japanese reality TV game show, known as Suzunu Denpa Shonen, was starting a new show called A Life of Prizes. In order to select the contestant to be the main participant of the show, they held a raffle, and to his surprise, Nasubi ended up being the winner. Nasubi was excited for the opportunity, seeing as he was an upcoming comedian. He thought this was a great opportunity to get himself out there. However, his real name is Tomoaki Hamatsu, and the name Nasubi was the name given to him for his role in the show by the producers, simply because they used an eggplant to censor his genitals, and also stated that his head kind of looked like an eggplant, and the word Nasubi means eggplant. This is because the whole point of the show was basically for people to laugh at Nasubi while he was literally being tortured for a very long time, and many people were indeed laughing. The show was airing every Sunday night, and each episode averaged a staggering 17 million views plus, making it the most watched series in Japanese history, which is more views than most series we see today. Not to mention that the Japanese population is only around a third of the US population, to make things worse, the producers painted the show as an experiment that may or may not be aired on TV, and they convinced Nasubi to believe that he was just filming his daily experiences for further review and editing, before being available to broadcast. Little did he know that in reality, there was hidden cameras recording his most confided moments to be broadcast for the world to see and make fun of and they even included a 24-7 live stream for the viewers to watch his suffering every second of every day if the weekly episodes weren't enough for them. <laughs> After winning the role, he was then taken to a small room and instructed to take off his clothes. The only thing he was provided with for the challenge was water and a single pillow to cover himself with, and also to rest his head when he goes to sleep. The rest of the room contained a small kitchen, some magazines, and some other key items for the show. As it all happened so fast, Nasubi tells the team that led him into the room to wait, and he still has some questions he wants to ask. But before he can receive any answers, they walk out of the room and shut the door on him. With nothing else to do but begin this challenge, he grabs some magazines and begins writing for six days straight with little to no breaks besides sleeping. おはようございます。書いていると。はい。誰かが来た。
大事故気分フードキミファさんのファイバーゼリー12個入りでございますいただきます His first big win is 12 pots of fiber jelly which was quite a big win for him since he was starving for days and hadn't eaten anything since he started although this wasn't the first thing he applied for his main priority was to secure some clothes so that he doesn't have to be cold all the time やったまた何か当たったんだはいあのお名前出してもらいたいと思いましてあはいわかりましたいはい当選かとまずラーメンえ,え,え全部で1700円になりますすいませんわかりました、はい After a few more days of him going hungry again, he receives a knock on the door for a ramen delivery. But after smelling the ramen and thinking it was his, the delivery person said it was the wrong address and took it back, just showing that the producers were extra cruel, adding to his suffering by setting up a fake delivery to tease him after he has been starving for days. Komeka? でんでねー米だでんでねーナスギ米お米5キロです Things start to look up for Nasubi when he wins 5 kilograms of rice and dances around with joy Unfortunately his excitement doesn't last long because he realizes that he has no way of cooking the rice unless he is able to win a pot from one of the sweepstakes So now he is just left with 5 kg of rice. And as time goes on, he begins to starve. So now, out of desperation, he attempts to eat the rice raw. これは。お願いします。お粥にでもちゃんとなってください。果たして実験は成功しているのか。あ、申し訳ないですけどね。ちょっとこれは失敗じゃないですか。Not able to eat the rice raw, Nasubi tries to come up with a way to cook it into something edible. He puts the rice inside one of the fiber jelly containers and left hot water inside it overnight to see if it would make it somewhat edible. But this attempt fails. He then tries the same thing once again, but this time he leaves it in close proximity to the gas burner so it can cook. And after some time, this idea eventually works. So now he has an effective method for cooking his rice. He starts winning things back to back 2,000 yen in cash, some body soap, and a spaghetti set, which sounds good. But at the end of the month of February, when we add up these winnings, it only equates to a mere 15,000 yen, which is far from his goal of 1 million yen in order to complete the challenge and be free from this room. At this current rate, it looks like it would take Nasubi over five years to reach the goal. Nasubi wins some orange sake and a folding bicycle, and he turns the folding bike into a stationary bike, allowing him to do some exercise to pass time. 
He then uses the sake cans to upgrade his method of cooking rice, making it more efficient. Tomi-chan, Tomi-chan. Tomi-chan? This is important to you. Tomi-chan. Oh, panty! Wow! But it's a little hard. It's a little hard. It's a little hard. Now it's been approximately two months since Nasubi started living in this confined room and he has already submitted roughly over 10,000 sweepstake entries and even though clothing was one of his top priorities he has only just received his first item of clothing which are a pair of used panties from a girl named Hitomi-chan which are too small to even fit him Throughout the entire duration of the show, this and a pair of shoes are the only form of clothing items he wins. So it's quite apparent that the creators are tampering with things, as they believe it's more amusing to the audience, for him to not have any clothes. The next win he receives just shows the audience how much of a psychological impact this is having on him, as he has no social interaction, besides the delivery man, Briefly handing him his deliveries. Watch. <laughs> he receives a stuffed seal and names it Binasu, and then takes it for a walk, acting as though it's a real companion. Later on, he finally wins his first direct source of protein. He finally gets some steak and uses a ballpoint pen to cook it directly over the flame. The important thing to notice is that they mention in the life of a poor comedian. He's only used the word steak in his imagination. Nasubi wasn't a popular comedian who was up there. He was looking for a breakthrough, and this was meant to be his opportunity, which is why he is so excited to be a part of the show in the beginning. But then, he ends up tortured. By the end of March, Nasubi had only acquired 90,000 yen worth of prizes meaning he was still 910,000 yen away from completing the goal. At the start of April, Nasubi had finally won a vacuum cleaner, allowing him to clean the floor he had been eating and sleeping on for the first time in three months. He also won some fresh tomatoes, a TV, and finally, something very useful. So <laughs> Nasubi was happy to finally be able to brush his teeth for the first time in over 90 days. He then wins a PlayStation controller and a game but doesn't have a console to play it on. He then eats the pork and crab raw as he has no efficient method of cooking them. ま、だった。電車で電車で電車で電車で。さらに。専用コントローラー付き。電車はナスビ車掌はビナスってな風に。かな。金地内で食べるつもりだ。うん。全然いける。美味しい美味しい。うん。全てビナス君のおかげだ
Regardless, even if he was physically healthy, it was very evident that his mental health was rapidly declining. His rice that he enjoyed eating each day finally ran out, and with that, the next items of food he received was dog food. So he was forced to survive primarily off dog food for months before finally receiving this. After another three months of living primarily off dog food and some occasional other meal winnings, he finally wins 10 kg of rice, allowing him to once again cherish his rice meals. It is now six months into the challenge and he has submitted nearly 40,000 sweepstake entries and he has only just reached the halfway mark. At this point in time, the show had really gained some traction and was one of the biggest shows in Japan, which eventually led to some problems for the producers as many people were figured out where Nasubi had been staying. ナスビは思った。終わりですか。百万行ったんですか。行ってない。え、意味がわからないんですけど、全然。車。やった。動いてる動いてる。これはまあ全部揃ってるというか引っ越しっていうことなんですか。in the middle of the night, they woke him up abruptly, making him think he had won the challenge, only to disappoint him afterwards by blindfolding him and transferring him to an identical room in a new location to avoid people finding it. しかしこの企画が放送されていることを知らないナスビにプロデューサーは。じゃあ私のためってことですねこれは。in a way, they kidnapped him and moved him to another location, and then they lied to him and told him it was for renewed luck implying that he would have better fortune in this new place, when in reality, it was just to prevent people from showing up to the location. To further torment him, it seems as though they purposely forgot his 10 kg rice, his most beloved treasure in this small room. The new location seemed to be working for Nasubi. His first big win is an expensive desk set and a chair allowing him to progress towards his goal. We can also see the growth of his nails, just further reinforcing the fact that he has kind of been a prisoner here for over six months now and the producers were looking for even more ways to exploit Nasubi for their own personal gain. This is when they come up with the idea of a 24-7 live stream. They had a dedicated team of people at their computers following Nasubi around with a joystick to censor his private area, which as we know was done without Nasubi's consent or knowledge. Now, after weeks of not winning much, it seems his luck in the new apartment has run out. 
ウィダーインゼリーが当たってかれこれ2週間当選がないここまでね当たんないってもなかなか久しぶりの出来事でね車で移動着いたところはちょっといいよいいすかナスビのあまりの運のなさに見かねたスタッフは当選運の上昇を願い2度目の引っ越しを決めたのだったビデオデッキを頭にぶつけ当選の舞タイヤ止めだな当たりましたほんと10ヶ月ぶりにねトイレットペーパーに触ったよほんとに The team behind the show eventually decided to move Nasubi again for a second time after winning nothing for two weeks eventually he started getting some wins again now 10 months in and he has finally won toilet paper for the first time それは8ヶ月前のこと6ヶ月前電車でゴーとりあえずまずやる電車でゴーでゴーでゴーでゴーでゴーでゴーでゴーでゴーでゴーでゴーでゴーでゴーでゴーでゴーでゴーでゴーでゴーでゴーでゴーでゴーでゴーでゴーでゴーでゴーでゴー電車でゴー3日目に突入金プレステでございます He played the PlayStation so much that he had to ban himself so he could focus on entering more sweepstakes and not get distracted from his true objective 一歩間違えてダイヤにしてくれてれば今回当たったタイヤが8万4千円つまり現在の総額は96万9千百十四円ゴールを祝いクラッカーで祝福。百万になったってことですか。え。ああ、やった。十一ヶ月と一日前に抜かされた。私の服ですね。The producers invade the house and abruptly wake up Nasubi from his peaceful sleep, letting off party poppers in his face, which scares him and leaves him shaken up. They then explain that he won the challenge. Finally, his seemingly never ending torture has come to an end. It's been 335 days, and Nasubi was given his clothes back and is finally set free. The producers then told him it was time for a vacation. And they flew him to Korea, where he got to experience a bit of life and enjoy a great time. But before he returned to Japan, the producers had one more horrifying surprise in store for Nasubi. Nasubi was in a car blindfolded for a five hour drive, and after taking off the blindfold, this is what awaited him. So, <laughs> what? After taking off the blindfold, Nasubi would find himself in the depths of despair once again. This time, trapped in Korea, where he would have to enter sweepstakes in Korean to win prizes equal to the flight back to Japan, which was just around 50,000 yen. But seeing as he doesn't understand Korean, he would need to use a translator to complete the goal. The producers basically pressured him into continuing the challenge, even though it seems like they give him the option to say no. He was promised fame and many other great things if he was to accomplish this, and he didn't want to be seen as dishonorable after partaking in the first part of the show. <laughs> ゴール 46,900 円突破検証生活エンコリア
ニークラスという一番安い料金こんなに頑張ったのにエコノミークラスとはあんまりだそこでビジネスクラスにランクアップ電話だと9500円頑張れナスビ After his previous experience, Nasubi was able to complete the challenge in just over two months. The producers weren't too pleased with this as they felt like Nasubi hadn't suffered enough for people to enjoy. So they upgraded his flight goal from economy class to a business flight, meaning he would need to acquire an additional 9,500 yen to complete the challenge. And the producers never told him that he reached the goal. It was just increased without him knowing. Within a few weeks, Nasubi easily achieved the new goal. But yet again, the producers were unsatisfied with this, so they decided to increase the goal again by ranking up his flight from business to first class, meaning he now needed 81,600 yen in total, about an additional 20,000 yen from his current earnings, but almost double the initial amount he was set to earn as his goal. All of this behind his back without him knowing. But he finally completes this goal a few weeks later. After a long and hard 15 months of total suffering and surviving in a room deprived of basic human requirements, Nasubi had made it to the end of the show. But, as you can expect from this cruel team of producers, they had one more final act of cruelty for him. もちろんアイマスクにヘッドホンナスビは驚くべき行動に出る別にまだかかるなんと脱ぎ始めたせーのナスビーコのーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーー
and to make him suffer more. This is the tragic and scary story of Tomoaki Hamatsu, aka Nasubi, and that a life of prizes turned out to be a life of torture. If you have any scary stories to share, you can send them over to storiesofdespairbusiness at gmail.com.